All right, well, here we go. My name is Jim Hamilton. This is a cartooning workshop. We're gonna learn how to create our own uh, cartoon character uh, and do a bunch of exercises uh, to get to that point. And I'm gonna share my screen now so you can see what it is I, I got here. And I'm hoping that everybody is, is seeing this. Can I just, just like a nod or a yes? Are you guys seeing it? Okay, we're good. So here's the goal. For the next hour or so, uh, we're gonna work on creating a cartoon character. And to do that, we're gonna do about six exercises. Um, they're quick, five to eight minutes, and they may seem very quick. So don't, don't worry if, uh, you know, feels like you're really writing hard to get this done. I think I've seen paper and pen or pencil. It doesn't really matter a little, you know, copy or paper and a pencil or a pen is fine. Uh, you don't need anything more uh, sophisticated than that to do this. And why don't we just jump right into our first exercise. And actually Ames who's here, I have to thank for this one because he shared with me this great book that I think I had seen in the past, certainly seen books by this guy, a guy named Jack Ham who did something called cartooning the head and figure in 1967. It is like the PhD course in cartooning if you want to look for that book and find it at some point. Um, but he's got an exercise in here that I think uh, um, is a lot of fun actually to do. And what he describes here is basically saying, let's do some, some heads here, you know, just draw circles and then use dots or dashes or checks to create the uh, expressions. And you can, you know, you can put them high in the head, low in the head, separate them out one side or the other, um, vary those kinds of things. And what I want you to do basically is on your sheet of paper, um, draw four rows of five circles on your paper and row one is going to be just use dots for all facial features. Row two is going to be dashes. Row three is going to be checks, you know, like a check mark. Uh, and row four, you can mix and match dots and checks and dashes for all the facial uh, features. Just vary them a little bit. And I'm going to give you five minutes to do this. Uh, set my uh, little timer here. So here we go. I'll give you a bit of a heads up, but start drawing circles. And um, this, whoops, nope, this, this is where you want to be. And I think, uh, get going. See what kind of expressions start turning out when you put those things uh, inside circles. All right, so we're about two minutes in. That still gives you three minutes, so you got plenty of time. Um, you know, if you get through, you can always draw an extra row and start playing around with some of the different shapes. Think about expressions you might like to achieve, um, but just keep working and uh, see what what happens.
Now, one other thing that really adds to expressions as well, we're at about three minutes now, uh, is eyebrows. So if in addition to eyes and noses and mouths, you want to add some eyebrows, uh, you'll see very quickly expressions change. All right, you got one minute left. Um, you know, if you've got, got the time, think about certain expressions, smiling, uh, angry, quizzical, mad, bored, upset, uh, and how you can um, achieve some of those just by, you know, moving your dots around a little bit. All right, about 10 seconds left to go. Let's wrap it up. All right, we're good. I hope you found that interesting. I think what's neat about this is that you can just look around your page and see different exp expressions that you've created, maybe without even trying to create that expression. So uh, it's, it's kind of a, a, a fun thing to do. And, and then, you know, once you get a little bit more accomplished at it, you can start achieving the expression that you maybe want to achieve. All right, we'll move on immediately to another exercise, uh, calling this simple shapes. And what I want you to do is basically just to draw uh, four squares on your paper. Um, Pick a, a simple shape like a star or a heart or a circle or a square. So think about that. This, in this case, that shape is going to be your entire character, head and body all in one. And, and I want you to draw this shape inside the, sh the square and add facial figures, uh, features, hands, legs, arms, feet, um, and then captions, this is getting back to the quatrains that we talked about, and I'll show you a little bit more uh, how, how to do this, but basically um, a little tip first. So, um, you know, here I've drawn a circle and just used, uh, you know, dashes for the eyes, the nose and the mouth. Um, if you make your letters or uh, make your arms and legs like the letter Z, basically, mm -mm -mm, um, you have a really fairly realistic looking arm. Uh, the hand part of it, probably a little shorter than the other pieces, but a Z will get you a pretty realistic looking arm without uh, too much trying. And you can play around with them in different positions, sort of up, down, kicking, pointing straight, uh, and then add shoes or gloves or fingers or toes, whatever you want to do as you see fit. And here's what uh, one, one thought, you know, if you draw four squares in a row on a single piece of paper, which is kind of the way you would normally see a, a cartoon strip, you kind of have to make the squares small. So what I suggest you do is draw your squares more in the way uh, on the, you know, that's on the right hand side of the page. Uh, I may you know, think about the four squares in a row. But uh, in terms of space, it's probably easier to do it that way. You know, where the one in the upper left hand corner is the first, second is on the upper right, third is in the lower left, and fourth is in the, the, uh, the lower right. And here we go. So the assignment here, I'll start you, you know, start the timer in just a moment, but draw your four squares, Draw your chosen shape inside, once inside each square. Add those facial features as you want. Throw arms, legs, and whatever else you want to put on them. And then add a caption from 
either, uh, you know, the quatrains that we talked about before, if you have one you want to do, do that. Uh, I've listed some here. And if you want to mix and match, that's kind of fun too. Roses are red, gently down the stream. Sugar is sweet. Life is but a dream. Whatever you want to do. So start your squares. I'm going to give you six minutes to do this. Let's go. Hey, yes, what question? Shapes again? I'm could sorry? We, could we see the four shapes again? Oh, you bet. There you go. So it's a star, a heart, a okay. circle, and a square. Thanks. All right? Yep. Yeah. So just, just pick one of those. That'll be it. And then run with it in, in uh, each square with arms and legs and a little caption. Uh, Jim? Yes? Um, in the four squares, are we supposed to be doing a different like facial look or are we, try are we drawing this, are we trying to create one, one face? Uh, you know, let's say you, say you pick the heart, um, yeah. you know, just, just put a different, ex you know, put, put whatever expression you want. You may want to put the captions down first and try and make it appropriate to the caption, but honestly, I think you, you know, you'll, you'll find that a lot of things will just work anyway. You know what I'm saying? You go do the expressions first and add the captions, or you can do the captions first and add expressions and your choice. All okay. right. All right, so we're two minutes in, you got another four minutes to go. Or is that a pencil over there too? Let's yeah. mute ourselves up here again. We're about halfway in now. All right, so you got two minutes to go. You know, if you've, if you've gotten through stuff, you can always accessorize, um, you know, with, with clothes or jewelry or, you know, whatever you might choose. Uh, eyebrows, for example. Yeah. Yes? Are you supposed to use the same character in all the squares or each one? It's hard for me to see. Yeah, same one in all the squares. So if, if you chose star, 
go with star in each one. But oh, honestly, if at this point you are going star, square, circle, heart, I'd say just stick with that for now. <laughs> Uh, my my thought was you'd have the same uh, you know same character, um, but doesn't have to be. Because really, drawing arms and legs on a circle versus a square or a well, I find it a little harder on the star, honestly. Very hard. Because it seems to have arms and legs already. Starfish. Mm -hmm. All right, so you got about 30 seconds to go. Start wrapping up. If you haven't got captains in there, try and get them in if you can. All right, we are almost done. Let's stop now. Um, so thoughts, comments. How, how did that work? Did you surprise yourself? Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm late, sorry. Not to worry. Hey, Shirley, we just finished our second exercise. If you've got pen and paper, you're, you're welcome to start with uh, um, the next one that we pick up on, but we just did, did one where we had four panels and we're drawing stars as characters with the quatrains that you see um, on this screen right now. So any thoughts on that? Did that work for you folks? Mm, I was trying to draw a turtle and it didn't work. So <laughs> you're, you're getting ahead of us now. Um, no, I couldn't draw the turtle and continue. So I have eight squares and I didn't follow the right directions, I guess, because I kept changing from Baba Black Sheet. Oh gosh, no, I didn't do it right, but that's okay. No, no, I no, I, it, it, anyway. this, this is an exploration. So we are definitely, uh, um, but, but you know what? Later on, you're gonna have to pick an animal or a person or an inanimate object. So you're actually a little bit ahead of the crowd here. If you wanna do a turtle, that's great or you know, people should be thinking about other animals. Um, well, I put a person in a boat for row your boat. No. <laughs> nice. And a star for twinkle. No, I just didn't follow what you said to do. Who was the person you said did this ex book? I wanted to write that down. Uh, let me just go back a couple of slides. The uh, exercise book. It's, his name is Jack Ham. So yeah. ham with two M's and it's called cartooning the head and figure. Now it's a 1967 book. So I don't know that you're going to find it around anywhere except used, but um, he's written a lot of books. So you might find something else by him that would be amusing. That's funny because I knew a Jimmy Hamilton who was the daughter. I mean, he was his, the son of a surgeon in Plymouth. Ah. The surgeon and Jimmy and his mother was an artist, but he turned out <laughs> to be a cartoonist. Do you happen to know him? He Do I happen to know a whole Jim artist. Hamilton? <laughs> Another Jim Hamilton. I run into Jim Hamiltons all the time. Okay. Um, so it's it's not that uh, that complicated a name. Uh, any yeah. other thoughts, folks? Uh, or shall we go on to our, our third exercise? Go. All right. I if, it was if, fun. To answer your question, I thought it was fun. OK, good. Yeah. Um, for those of you who did the first workshop, you'll remember the Brunetti method. Um, basically, and I'll do a, a quick overview and we'll do an exercise on it, but the idea is to make a shape for the head and it can be any shape you want, uh, another shape for the body, uh, add hands and legs as squiggly lines. I mean, you could just do them as curves if you want. Uh, the Z method will work for you if you prefer. Uh, you can use circles or other shapes for the hands or feet and accessorize as, as you want. You know, simple shapes like dots, dashes, checks. You can use letters or numbers. That's an upside down seven. That's the guy's nose here in this particular piece. And then, you know, accessorize. And what I'm going to ask you to do in this exercise is to divide your paper up again into four, you know, quadrants and draw four full length, um, well, 
people basically using the Brunetti method. So let me just go back again, shape for the head, shape for the body, hands and legs, the squiggly lines, um, all of that stuff. I wanna make sure that it's head you know, to toe. We get the whole full figure here. That's an important part of this exercise. And I want you to draw it based basically on the suggestions to the right. So in the upper left-hand corner, it becomes a self-portrait. Uh, think about what makes you, you. It could be your hair, your glasses, the things you wear, um, you know, things, things maybe you like to do, like, I don't know, uh, kick a soccer ball or something. The other corner, the upper right-hand corner is a policeman or a policewoman. Think about what they look like, maybe wearing a badge or a hat or having a belt with a gun or you know, whatever it is that defines what a policeman or a policewoman looks like. Uh, in the lower left-hand corner, it will be a teacher. So think about um, a teacher in the schoolroom perhaps and what that might look like and draw that using the Brunetti method. And then the last one that we have here, um, is an athlete. So if you wanna draw a baseball player, soccer player, basketball player, whatever it is you wanna do, um, draw it using the Brunetti method. Um, think about details, details that will make that character identifiable. And you're gonna to need to draw quickly. I'm gonna give you eight minutes, but basically that gives you about two minutes per quadrant. So I'm gonna start now, divide up your paper into quadrants and I'll give you a time check every two minutes. Any questions? All right, get to work. Okay, so we're almost two minutes in. So you should probably move on to your next quadrant. Just make sure you split up your time so you can get to all four in the time we have. Badge, that's badge. I, I'm okay. sorry, I missed that.
All right, so we're about halfway through. So you should be through maybe close to two quadrants now. Again, this may seem rushed, but just get done what you can. You got about four more minutes left. All right, coming up in the six minute mark, that gives you two minutes now to finish off whatever it is you're working on now. So two more minutes. Oh, this is good. That's amazing. All right, 30 seconds now, start to wrap up. All right, that's it. So how'd that feel, folks? That feel quick? Karen, what about you? It was quick. Yep. But um, I'm just not, I, I think it's fun. Um, I mean, it's not good, but it's really fun. To it's a good mental exercise. For, for a teacher, yeah, yeah. What, what details did you pull out for your teacher? For my teacher, her mouth is, I don't want to show you. <laughs> you don't have to. It's kind of, it's like this um, up and down, you know, that uh, like talking, this, talking, uh, talking. <laughs> oh, okay. Kind of, yeah. And annoyed. Uh, she's not a happy teacher. <laughs> and she's got a piece of cloth at her hand, in one hand. And she's wearing a striped shirt and a belt and a skirt. That's good. 
that's good stuff. Anybody else want to talk details? You know, what did what did you make your athlete or your policeman or even yourself? I have my athlete with a paddle in one hand and a ball coming down from his other arm. Excellent. It's fun. Yes, good good All details. Right. All right. I'm having fun. <laughs> That's good. You know, it, it does it does seem very quick. You can always go back and rework these drawings later on if you want, or just do an entirely different one. I mean, usually the second time you do it, you find you do it a little bit better than you did the first time around, which is the way it works with practice. All right. Well, we're getting to right. the uh, real key part here is let's think about creating a character. And this is this is one that requires a, a fair amount of, of thought or you can just pick something randomly. It doesn't really matter. Um, but you could pick a human. And if you're thinking of a human, is it, is it yourself or is it an old person, a young person? Um, if it's an animal, what kind of animal are you, you choosing? Um, you could pick an inanimate object, a tree, a mountain, something like that. Or if you wanna stick with a heart or a star shape or something like that. Let's also think about what its personality is like. Uh, what does it, you know, what does it do? What is it like? Um, does it have a name or a nickname? Um, again, this isn't something you have to be stuck with forever. I've been thinking about this for weeks now, and I'm still not sure whether I want to do a self-portrait or a rat or a pig. So whatever it comes down to, just just pick one and, and run with it. So if you choose to do some four-legged animal, realize that you can still use the Brunetti method. It just kind of gets turned on its side. So, um, you know, um, you can have a cat's or, or whatever standing straight up, but it maybe makes it a little more sense if you put it uh, with four feet on the ground. Now, what I'm gonna ask you to do next is basically to uh, divide your paper up into, um, you know, four quadrants, or you don't necessarily even have to do that. I'm just asking you to draw your character as many times as you can in a single piece of paper. Make it at least four times. If you get through more than once, just keep going. And so I'm going to give you five minutes to do that. And before I start the timer, any questions? Pick your character, draw it at least four times on the piece of paper, you know, little, small, big, Fit it in there at, at least four times. I'm going to give you five minutes to do it. You Can I ask good? a question before you start, Jim? Sure. Jim, before yep. you start timing us, is it I, supposed to be the, the character doing the same thing, the same portrayal of the character four times, or are you supposed to mix it up and have different expressions or whatever? I will leave that up to you. If I asked you to do it, the same identical one four times, that would probably be harder <laughs> than choosing different expressions and stuff. Um, I think it's always good to do one from the front and one from the side and, and to change the expressions on the face. But honestly, I will leave that up to you. Mm. Did but I hear another question? Have, Oops, Joy. Yeah, we don't have to do the Brunetti method. We could do it more detailed than that if we wanted. If you, if you uh, want to go beyond, I'm just trying to avoid basic stick figures is what uh, I'm trying to make the point with Brunetti. So as long as you're not falling back to a stick figure and as long as you're showing it head to toe, then I'm good with it. All right? Okay. All right. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. All right, here goes. You got five minutes. Draw that four times. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so we're approaching the two and a half minute mark. That means we're halfway through. Hopefully you've drawn your character maybe twice by now. Uh, if more, that's great. You wanna just draw a very simple version of it in different poses, that's great too. So keep working. No, that's a lovely. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need that voice in our head telling us it's awful. We it's good. All right, coming up on four minutes. That means we've got one minute to go. Uh, try and draw your character, um, you know, another time. And we'll wrap up. Well, now in about 45 seconds. All right, 15 seconds, so start wrapping up. All right, we are done. All right, I'm, I'm curious to see what's happening around the room. So Ames, uh, what, what kind of creature did you choose, human or otherwise? A pickle, super pickle. <laughs> All right. That sounds good. Um, how about with the McKechnie family? You got a bunch of things going on there. Is there, um, you know, uh, anything you want to share in terms of what you chose? Sure. Well, I chose a cat for this. Excellent. I a cat in a cat bed, a cat um, walking, and a cat on a person's lap watching TV. Woohoo! That's great. <laughs> a cat hissing. Hissing, oh. did you say? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you said kissing at first, and that would be great. You could have your two cats kissing. Um, yeah, what What other uh, McKechnie creations do we have? Um, I did. I don't know if you can see. I did a flame. A flame. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I did some fun. 
some fun flames. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I would. I was th not thinking that inanimate objects would uh, would have the lead here, but we've already got uh, a couple of them. <laughs> and uh, anybody else want to report from that? Uh, the McKechnies. Uh, uh, yeah, hold on. I'm almost done. No, no, you have to do it now. No, that's that's all right. You 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 can tell us later. Done. Done. Um, I have a cat in a cat bed, a cat hissing at its reflection, uh, a cat walking, and a cat eating. Excellent. It's it's. I can't see a lot of detail there. If there are any things you want to scan and send to me later on, I would love to see them, and particularly the last exercise that we're going to do. So anybody else want to share their um, their thoughts on their creation? Um, Joy, Rick, did you go for inanimate objects or did you go for the real thing? I went for people. Yeah, good. But I see I do too much detail, so. How, how much detail is too much? Remind me. Oh, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> I tried to direct the teacher again with the frizzy hair. Oh, yeah, yeah. But the side view of the teacher did not come out right. It looks, that's when I said, this is not good. I mean, well, I only got three people, three teachers um, with different expressions, but they're well, really cartoony. That, that's, that's good. I, I, I push you to draw quickly just because sometimes it helps people creatively, but the uh, flip side of that is it puts pressure on folks. So I do not intend to do that. Rick, you were showing me something. What did you choose? I was trying to do uh, a fisherman. Uh -huh. so Aha. Fisherman. Yeah. Fisherman. Yep. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. All right. I should have done the athlete because the athlete, I got a side view of a runner, but I turned him into a football player. Well, that's all right. Mean, they the run. Athlete, I should have gone with the athlete because the teacher didn't work out. All, all I athlete. can say is that that there's plenty of paper uh, and pencils left in the world to uh, try that at some point. <laughs> I think um, the athlete is a better choice. Well, um, I, I, I'm I'm not going. To, you know, I think a pickle is actually a very good choice. So, um, you know, can, what is a pickle? A pickle oh, yes, is what I my know. friend Ames chose to do. Um, all right, well, let's let's move on because I, I do want to try and wrap this up before eight o'clock. I, I told you it would be about an hour and that's what I intend it to be. And we got two exercises left to do, I, I believe. Yes, two. And the last one is probably the most complex. So let's get ourselves moving. Um, this is around setting. So I wanted just to tell you a little bit about creating a setting. And I found this uh, old Charlie Brown cartoon. I'll give you a moment to absorb it. Um, again, very, very simple. Um, and if you look at it in terms of setting, um, all you really need to do is draw a line across your uh, cartoon box and you have a horizon in there. And in this case, the horizon for Charlie Brown is the ocean. And so just a little curved line goes across there and he's drawn more or less a diagonal line to indicate the beach. So simplicity in setting will often tell you a lot of things. And there are other details that he's added here. Very simple, a sand castle, maybe a shell in the sand, a little bit of detail grain in the sand, and that's about it. But you know, it's at the beach. Another one to absorb, this is uh, one of my favorites, uh, Tom Gold. So I'll let you absorb it for a moment. <laughs> So he is, he is very good. So a single panel, very simply drawn. Um, you know, he's indicated a road and, you know, a meadow next to a road and a house and a tree in probably about the simplest fashion you can imagine. And yet, you know, it sets the setting very easily. And so what I want to think is go back to your character. And if it turns out to be the school teacher or the athlete, it may be that a classroom or an arena is, is you know, your fit. If you happen to be the, you know, the pickle or the flame, where does that um, object reside? Here's one other example I wanted to show you before we go to our exercise. Um, you know, uh, this is an <laughs> indoor, indoor setting, yes. Um, yeah. And it's the the setting is really 
just a few very simple things. You see the, the fringe on the rug, you see the chairs that the characters are sitting in, you see a certificate on the wall, and yet you know really very immediately that it's a counselor talking to one of their patients. So, let's think about setting now. So I want you to draw a large single panel on your paper, put your character in there, you know, whoever you have chosen now and figure out where it is they reside. Um, you know, on the moon, at the beach, a castle, a house, suburbs, the pickle jar, wherever, wherever it is. And add a few things that will inform the reader about that setting. Here again, I want your character to be visible from head to toe and some kind of setting around your character. So I'm going to start the time. Well, before I start the timer, any questions about this exercise? All right, so you basically draw a square, draw your character in the square, and then create a setting around that, your character. I think some of you are way ahead of me already, because Rick, if you had your person fishing there, you probably may have had a boat or a, you know, whatever. So just do this within a square and we'll go from that. I'm giving you four minutes, so it's gonna go pretty quickly. Get going. All right, so we're at about two and a half minutes now. I got distracted, sorry, I was drawing my own little panel here. Um, so you got a minute and a half left to finish this up. Think in terms of setting and what you can do to make your character feel like they are in a particular setting. All right, we got about 30 seconds left. Think about those details that, that uh, 
create the setting. All right, 15 seconds left. No. All right, we're there. Again, that may seem quick, but you can always go back to these drawings and rework them and do them a different way if that's what you choose to do. Um, any thoughts on that process? Did that work well? It's probably seemed pretty quick. I, I missed that. Any, any comments or thoughts? I guess we're good then. Well, we're, we're uh, just going to move on then. And this is going to be the hardest uh, exercise that we have today because I want you to introduce us to your character. And again, it's going to require four large squares. I've drawn them in a row here, but again, probably easiest just to split your paper up into quadrants and do a square in each one, as I described before. I want you to draw your character four times in that panel. Um, any of the elements indicating setting, they can easily repeat. I mean, if you want to draw just a horizon line and they live in the desert and it's a horizon line and a cactus, well, you've set the stage. Uh, don't overthink it, just draw and write. You can certainly come back and rework it later if you feel like it. But by the end of this, by the end of these four panels, I want to know what this character's name is, where they live, what they like to do, and that can be a sport activity, what they like to, to do, and basically how they're feeling today. So happy, sad, angry, uh, you know, bored, whatever it is that they might be. So to get to this point, I'm hoping everybody has a character that they're comfortable with, a turtle, a pickle, a, a person, whatever. And if it's, you know, if it's you, you know the name already. If it's not you, you got to make one up and maybe the character will in fact tell you its name somehow. Uh, my uh, pig character just uh, informed me that it plays the piano. So uh, I'm not quite sure how that happened, but it did. I'm going to give you eight minutes. Does anybody have any questions? All right, let's get going. I'll give you some time markers coming up. Jim, we got to go, but um, Tristan wanted to show you the astronaut he just did. Ah, very cool. <laughs> if you want, please scan and send to me. You can always do this exercise later if you feel like it. But thank you so much for joining us. Sure, thank you. All right, bye bye now. Oh, All right, so we're two minutes in. You still got six minutes to go. Mm. 
Some pictures of pigs. Mm. Oh. oh no, I can hurt the cat. All right, we're at four minutes, so we're about halfway through. Hope you've got maybe two panels done. Keep going. Again, I know this is a time rush. Do your best. All right, we've just passed six minutes, so you got a little less than two minutes to go.
All right, about 20 seconds left. All right, wrap it up. Now again, that's probably quick, too quick to really do this justice. If you wanna take a little bit of additional time later on to finish it off or just to try the exercise again at your leisure. Um, I would be delighted if you would share anything that you have done. Um, and let me just uh, open it up for thoughts. Uh, how, how did that last one feel? Karen, uh, did, were you able to get through? Was it too little time? I did it. And you know, this is really good for me because I tend to be a very detailed person and I'm, I'm very perfectionistic and I have not been like that with this cartooning stuff at all. I'm just slapping it down. I so it's really good for me. I made I, the mistake though of doing me. <laughs> that is really hard. Well, <laughs> I've done me several times and <laughs> I just wish I'd taken a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joy, Rick, how about you guys? How, how did it run? It was fun. I'll show mine. Um, she sues the artist. You know her name because I put her name on the painting. <laughs> okay. And uh, where am I here? She's um, in her, uh, she's happy because she's won first place for that painting. Nice. And she lives in Duxbury on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very good. I, I think that's a very nice. I to read on. It's way too fast for me. I can't move that fast. No, that's okay. Um, I think it's a, you know, uh, it's a very subtle way to get the name in there without having to say it, but that's good thinking. Right, right. Uh, Rick, what about you? I played with my fisherman guy, uh, except I cheat a little bit. I drew him from the back first. That's okay. Over his shoulder, and he gets distracted, he gets a fish, and he catches the fish at the end. So I don't know if you can see that or not. That's good. All right. Yeah. Do we do we get his name in there somehow? Yeah. Well, he's got a big K on his back, so I'm assuming he's Kevin. <laughs> okay. We're losing Kingston. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. Uh, Ames, where, where Karen, was, Karen. Uh, was it your pickle or or did you choose something else? No, it's super pickle and he goes on adventures. Ah, all right. Solves crimes. That's but good. But in this one, he's flying after the bad guy, and he goes splat into a tunnel. Well, that's unfortunate. Overpass. Yep. Gene, did did you end up working with your turtle or school teacher, or what did you do? No, I had to switch to animals, and I have to have something to look at to draw. So I drew a swan or a duck, and then I tried to draw a pig. I've been taking too much of the Victor's Quarter class. <laughs> where she does the beautiful little books. So the, my best one is a cat doing yoga. Well, that's that's good. Yeah, cat be, doing be, yoga is really not, I don't know if you can see the cat. A little bit, a little bit there. Yeah. Again, if you, if you guys want to take a photo and or uh, pig, scan it. I, mean, I'll... I don't know. I can draw animals a little bit better than these people. <laughs> I mean, well, I should never have, the athlete was over at the football field and um, I don't know, I got involved trying to draw the field. I'm switching to animals. All I right, well, that's, that's good and that's fair and, and it's uh, doing a but barnyard I, or whatever is, is, is easy I enough. I couldn't actually, I have to have something in front of me to copy or something. I have to know what the animal looks like and I didn't have any pigs around. Yeah, but well, I, I see the thing. So I ran into the, the same issue with my uh, my pig I was drawing, who turned out to be a concert pianist, because <laughs> I realized while I could draw an upright piano, I do not know how to draw a like a concert baby grand. Um, so I, I struggled with that. Hey, Shirley, what did you draw? I'm trying to draw a pig. What's that? A llama. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is that a llama? Come closer. Oh, it's, a turtle. It's, it's turtles. Uh, ah, okay, turtles. Excellent. And your turtles, turtle, yes. where does turtles your turtle live? Oh, well, he sometimes lives on the beach, but he's gone to church here. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> she's, got a, she's got a hat on, which I thought was appropriate for me. And then yeah. my, yeah. I, 
I had much more fun drawing the uh, various people. I don't know whether you can see this. I, I think you're going to have to scan and share that. I'd be happy to send folks around, but it's a little tough to see. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, anyway, it was fun, Jim. Thank Good. you very much. Hey, hey, Gavin, are you there with Jen? Uh, I'm here. Well, well how, what uh, what did you choose to draw? Uh, we both chose to draw the dog. But you're oh, okay. You have a dog, so your dog character. Well, does your dog talk then? Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. I can't really see what I'm saying. Uh, you know what? I, just a second. I'm going to um, stop bad. sharing and go back to, uh, it would make more sense for us to highlight the viewer maybe. So I try that again. Yourself. It's a little dark, but I can see what's going on there. And I can see a setting set up with a house that is very plainly a house. Excellent. Nice work. <sighs> Awesome. If anybody wants to show their drawing, you probably can see it a little bit better now. Are we good? Mm -hmm. I, I think we're probably yeah, good at this point. Uh, I'm going to go back to gallery Thank you view. So much. That was so much fun. I'm here, but yes. Good, good, good. Thank you. So you have my email. If you do want to scan any of your drawings and send them my way, I would love to see them. But thank you all for participating. And uh, well, we'll. We'll see where this goes next. I'm I'm really excited to hear more about the adventures of Super Pickle. Yeah, right. <laughs> totally. That was fun, Jim. It's, it's really really good for me, as I said, because I'm not an artist and I I don't do stuff like this quick. You know, do just do it. So it certainly works your brain in a different way, doesn't it? It yeah. does. It's very good. relaxing to try to complicate. It's try. It's something new to me. So it's kind of, yeah, it changed my brain around a little bit. Yep. I think it's fun also but that I we can it. do it all ages, too. It was great to have McKechnie's with us. Yeah, well, it's, it's fun. fun. Yeah, it's lovely fun. All right, folks. Well, I, I, I think we're done. I'm going to stop recording. Where did we get the PhD course? Well, I think you need to go to Jack Ham for that. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he is he is he is the one who really knows it i i'm wondering what the next step would be because uh as far as i could tell it would be like introducing our characters to each other and interacting and i that would be kind of hard to do um i mean it might be possible to do as, as homework assignments but if you have suggestions for things you'd like to do in a workshop form i'm happy to try and lead it um but the truth of the matter is I've never drawn a, a full comic strip myself. I, I draw right. and I do a lot of stuff like that, but not really in comic strip form. So we'll, we'll see. But your suggestions would be great. I'd okay. love to hear from you and see your drawings. Okay. I'd just Thank like you. to say, it doesn't have to keep building, in my no. opinion. I would like to start over again, actually. And <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Like, I had trouble with yeah. legs and arms and, you know, I had trouble with a lot of things, really. <laughs> so to think of doing a whole comic strip is way, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, repetition helps on a bunch of those things. Yeah. And there are simple tricks like that Z thing for arms I that works. That. That's what I did. That's what I did, because that's the only idea I had. <laughs> Other than a stick figure. And you wouldn't let me do a stick yeah, figure. Yeah, no, I don't want, no, no, no yeah. stick figures and full figures. I mean, the more I look at comic strips in the newspapers these days, I see how much they cheat because it's always people from the waist up, you know, there's a desk or something in front of them and you rarely see their feet. But uh, I think in, at this point in our, uh, our process, we need to be drawn full figures. All right. Anyway, that is, that is it for tonight. Uh, thank, you. Thank, thank you everybody and uh, take care. Bye-bye. Thank yep. you. Yeah. Bye-bye now. Bye.